Hi, what's up guys? Um, today, I thought of um, um, actually posting up just a really simple tutorial video on how to use the liquify filter because a lot of people tend to wonder what the liquify filter is really about. I know it's going to be a very basic video, but nevertheless, I think it's something that's quite useful to, to know and to find out because there are instances at times when you will uh, sometimes be pushed to have to use such filters and uh, so I thought might as well give you guys a simple guide a very short tutorial on how the liquify filter actually works so let's go straight down to Adobe Photoshop and open it up yeah well as you can see I've got John Travolta's picture here because of obvious reasons I can't really use any client pictures or anything like that because that will be quite sensitive so anyway um, let's go straight at using the liquify filter so the first thing that you actually do is you go to the filter section here and you select on liquify and you reduce the size of your brush tool accordingly. Um, I'm going to bring it down to about 104, 133, that should be fine. And select on this finger tool here. I'm going to zoom it up just a bit. Right. And I'm going to just pull his chin here hang on let me just zoom out a bit and let me just move the picture a bit I'm gonna make sure that I I pull the bottom bit as well I'm gonna pull it in tuck it in pulling and then if you you've got any sort of like areas that still bulge around here then you've got to change the brush size to be a bit smaller uh, made it a bit smaller here uh, tuck it in bring it in tuck it in bring it in and there you have it you got a slightly younger looking John Travolta while we're at it I might as well smoothen up his skin here gonna select on actions and uh, I'm going to use totally rad actions here. I'm going to use pro retouch. And I'm just going to feather the brush all around his face. But you've got to be careful that with this brush, it tends to uh, sometimes it tends to make your highlights get 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 a bit sort of matte looking or not that sh not that natural so go easy on the brush All right I'm gonna brush it brush it and then I'm gonna flatten out the image that's function f3 on the Apple keyboard I'm gonna give it a yin and yang just to brighten it up a little bit there you go Not bad. So now let's just have a look at the before picture. That's before and that's after. See? Before and after. Oh, well, probably took a few years off him. So um, that's the liquify filter in a nutshell. So if you've got any other questions or any other queries on Photoshop, please don't feel shy to give me and drop me an email or anything like that. We'll be more, uh, I'll be more than happy to reply. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks. See you.